Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Kathy Lofton, and I'm taking you inside KSC. NASA Kennedy Space Center's Launch Control Center was the site of an important countdown simulation for the Space Launch System, or SLS, the most powerful rocket ever built by the agency. In preparation for Exploration Mission 1, or EM-1, Launch Director Charlie Blackwell-Thompson led her team in the first pre-launch simulation of the loading of super-cold cryogenic liquid propellants into the SLS core and upper stages. Teams worked through problems introduced through a software program that imitates the vehicle and ground systems. At least seven more cryogenic loading simulations will take place before EM-1 sends an uncrewed Orion spacecraft on a three-week test flight thousands of miles beyond the moon and back. Exhibitors from across the nation provided information ranging from energy-saving solutions to wildlife and natural conservation during an annual Earth Day celebration at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. As a part of the Sustainability Expo, plants and wildlife specialists provided expertise, electric cars were on display, and butterflies were released throughout the day. Later this month, Lunch and Learns highlighting protected species and Florida-friendly home landscapings will take place at the Florida Spaceport. The 2019 Chief Technologies Innovation Call, Innovation Without Boundaries, is now open. Civil servant and contractor employees at Kendi and throughout NASA will submit their most innovative ideas with a chance to earn cash rewards. Proposals are due May 15. Judging will take place June 15, followed by selections on June 30. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.